today sorting this out, the wife's Kindle. Um, she's had it for, oh, God knows, seven, eight years, nine, something like that. And the battery's just started to go on it. So, I bought myself, where is it? Ooh, bought myself a new battery, just there. And now, just going to have to take the back off it. And, um, yeah, change the battery. Simple as. Okay, so the back's off. So basically, just took a hairdryer and heat up in the middle bit there because the battery or rather the battery tray is here that I've took off now um, sorry to show you all this but it's very difficult just with one hand yeah that is stuck to the back end so you literally have to um, work around the uh, work around the corners and use the tools that come with the battery to um, basically get underneath it and prise it off it's not a particularly difficult job but um, yeah, it's just uh, time consuming uh, it does sound like it's breaking when it comes off, but it just pop off quite nicely, as you can see. Right, now time to get the battery out, because that is stuck too. So, um, yeah, I've got to be a bit careful. It's a lithium battery. I do not want to break it. Well, you've got to love trying to get lithium batteries out that are stuck down. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know about lithium batteries, um, <laughs> they don't like getting punctured, and they don't like getting hot, and they don't like being drained. So, um yeah, this is um, interesting. So I've got a flat knife at the moment, just basically getting under there and teasing it out. And I think I might, uh, might try and apply a little bit of heat to it, just to help. But um, yeah, why the hell would you stick a battery down? That is beyond me. Uh, crazy, but there you go. Right, I'm going to get on with it. So as you can see, I'm nearly there. Basically just, uh, yeah, just uh, warmed it up with a hairdryer again. Uh, stuck a, a knife under there. You can actually hear it going into the glue run the battery and then just basically teased it away so um yeah hopefully now a little bit of a pull and the fingers underneath to sport it and there you go yeah not not easy when you try and do it with one hand in the camera um so yeah why you would stick a lithium battery down i have no idea because they um they don't like being punctured and they don't like being messed about with and that to me is a little bit dangerous. Obviously, they don't want you to change the battery. Right, so the new one comes out, and basically, it's uh, going to have a wrapper. And basically, I'm just going to, oops, excuse the camera work, lay it in there, reconnect it back to that block there, and put it all together. Easy. <laughs> all right, well, that's not a good start. Um, your Kindle needs repair, it's come up with. All right, let's. Um, See if we can clear that. Please wait a moment while your Kindle starts up. Yeah, all I've done is change the battery, so um, I can't imagine I've done any damage. Oh. Right, well that's not good. I need to figure this one out. Okay, so I've screwed it all back together, put the, the cover back on, and uh, obviously yeah, the battery is quite flat, so that may be why it's coming up and says it needs repair, but uh, uh, let's give it a go. Um, and we're going to do this one handed. <laughs> Bear with me, rubbish camera work. One, two, three, do, do, do. no. Ah, there we go, I think I've got it. Yeah, it looks like because the battery's so flat it's not going to do anything. Right, let's charge it up. And what do you know? Charge the battery up, everything works. Hey, hey. job done.